ask yourself, before I started to assume that I am, you could add over here, I am. Before I feel like I am, or before I started generating that around the age of two or three or four, like I am over here, before I am, and before I open my eyes to the world, and before I include the sense of location, what was, what remained? In a very subtle sense, for most people, a very subtle intuitive hit of something, something quote unquote out there or back there or behind me, behind the I am, something there, something formless is. Something. Before I was, before I was born, before I think that I am, something is. Something must be for all this to appear. There must be an isness beyond it all. That is existence itself. However subtle it might be at first, this light of the I, I can become more real than getting a brick thrown at your face. More real than getting a brick thrown at your face. More real than getting a brick thrown at your face. That's how real that light is, and that's how unreal the brick in your face are. But this requires practice. It'll only be a concept in your mind if you don't practice being God, if you don't practice releasing the I am and going into the I I. Self realization. Before you created anything, before you generated the sense of I am, I am this being over here, before that was generated, before the sense I am, if you take away, if you delete, if you empty the sense I am, stay really attuned, stay really awake, aware of what remains before or without the I am. And then follow that intuition, stay with it, stay with it until the light of God, that non-dual formless isness, starts to become brighter and brighter and brighter. Location starts to thin and thin and thin. The body identification starts to diminish, diminish, diminish. Mind identification and importance and self-importance, self-significance starts to diminish, diminish, diminish. And it's like everything, like raindrops, all the raindrops of your life, all the structures of your life are now hitting the ocean and they're starting to dissolve into true bliss, the true peace, the true realization of the light of God. Satchitananda. Isness awareness or lucidity and bliss or peace. This cannot be found by chasing an experience, by identifying with the experience. This can only be found in deep, profound connection and self-transcendence. You cannot own it, you cannot claim it. As soon as you claim it, it's distorted. The trick is, this is how God teaches itself to become itself once again. He gives you a taste of the bliss, and you get hooked, you get addicted, and now your only way to that is to let go of yourself. That which runs away trying to pretend like it has its own life, like it has isness of its own. Sure, there is God's isness, but there's also my isness. There's only one isness. And the only thing that is, is isness. Your I am is not. That's a sensation arising as an appearance on the reality of isness, of the I which is, that intuitive, formless, non-dual I which is God. To know this is to know a freedom of all suffering. Doesn't mean you'll never be challenged. It depends on the degree to which you tune into this. But at least you know, at least you have the access point, at least the door open 
to infinite bliss, infinite forgiveness, infinite love, infinite emptiness of self. And true devotion to service. If you're not here, if you're not real, and that's your bliss, that's your overwhelming bliss, then imagine emptiness overflowing with light. Then what does it want? What is its sole intention? For all other illusory portions to wake up to the union that is, to merge with the ocean of bliss, to accelerate that process. And yes, in my example for Example, I understand and accept that where humanity is at is not necessarily that level. You know, the average humanity or mainstream humanity. What they're going through is a transformation from separation to the beginnings of love, to the beginnings of harmony and understanding and compassion and self-empowerment, self-expression, abundance, synchronicity, trust, faith. All these qualities are fourth density native. And that's what we are moving into. That's what's most relevant for mainstream. But again, I wish to create an army of people that can hold higher density frequencies and understandings so that they can be shepherds of humanity as we're going through this transition. And for your own sake, for your own joy, for your own journey. <laughs>